What's up, YouTube? It's Cameron here from 9-Bit Nation, and I'm here to bring you a special commentation over this bullshit game of quickscopes that me and Aaron played. As you can see, I'm looking through the eyes of Aaron, and sooner or later, you're going to see him get mollywalked by me many of times. Almost seven times in a row in one sitting. At the beginning, we haven't played in a while, so give us some credit. We just started quickscoping again. Anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys, just wanted to check in, see how everyone's doing, see how the nest is doing. I'm going to call you my nest, because I like that idea. And I want to be a bird, and you guys can be my flock. My flock of nests. And we can just, we can take over the world, just honest to God. As you can see, I just molly whopped him pretty hard. But he won't watch the kill cam, because he's a screen-cheating faggot. And, um, I think, I think it's going to be a good one. I think this could be a good video footage to just watch instead of listen to, because I ramble quite a bit. He picks up my AT4HS, and, and that's about it. And I could, I could go on for days about this match, but I really don't want to. So let, let's let's talk about the weather lately. The weather's been crap. It's been raining. It's been hot, but it's been cold. It's like sweater weather in the morning, short weather at night, and I really hate that. And then yeah, I don't know what to wear in the morning, so then I get up for school at like 7:30. I'm in my boxers. I go check outside what's going on with the weather. It turns out it's cold. I put on my jacket. Go back outside. It's hot. It's hot. And I ride a bus, and there's this really fat kid, and he's not fat, he's like, he's like Job of the Hut huge. And then seeing him trying to get down the aisle is really funny, but it's really mean, because whenever the bus driver goes, he goes, but the rest of him has to follow. So it's like a Jello mo movie maker moment. It's really mean, but kind of funny, and he smells really bad. Everyone in that bus smells really bad, and it's just it's a terrible experience for anyone to have. And I go to like an all-black high school, so there's that. There's black people everywhere, and for the racist in me, that's not working too well. But for the guy in me, I'm thinking, okay, this is a good chance to make new black friends. It's not. They're all really dicks. They're like all assholes. Every one of them. Especially the black girls. I think there's stuff, and that's not cool. So I don't appreciate that. But anyway, like I said, this is just me trying to talk, trying to trying to get a few things for the channel. That way, Aaron doesn't have to do all this shit because, well, he's, he's slacking. He's a piece of shit. I don't like him. I'm only in it for the money. And bitches that the YouTube brings. That was kind of a lag right there, if you ask me, but... What, what do I know, right? I'm only in high school. I go to an all-black high school. <laughs> That's racist. That's racist. Anywho, the government shut down, and I think that's hilarious. Because <laughs> it's like a convenience store, when you think about it like that. It's like, some days, they just don't want to do shit. So they're like, okay, let's shut it down. And then now they're like, let's raise the bill. And I'm just like, whatever. It's, I mean, it's just whatever, you know? You win some, you lose some, and in this case, Barack Obama lost. Government Owen 42. They're not doing too good so far. I'm doing pretty well. My YouTube career is starting to take off pretty well. Uh, if you if you want a shout out, let us, let us know. Uh, to do that, you need to like, subscribe, and follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter name will be in the description because I don't know my Twitter name because I don't do shit for this channel because I have a life. And that's that that that's mainly it. Aaron doesn't have a life. He he has to work at Steak and Shake like a fag, and so do I. And I don't have the computer he has. I have a piece of shit hand me down. Hand me down. And it doesn't do all the nifty things he does. He can play games on his. I can I can watch I can watch YouTube and lurk. Lurk on 4chan. But other than that, I can't do anything, so this is this is even on his phone as well. I have an iPhone too, I just don't choose to use it because I don't care for it. <laughs> anyway, Recent sightings of Bigfoots have increased tenfold in the world, and I believe that th there's a second coming of Bigfoot Jesus. And he's going to fight Bigfoot Satan, and it's going to be a battle of Bigfoot Royales. And I think that the Loch Ness Monster is going to fly out of the Loch, Loch Ness Ocean, and he's going to be like, oh, stop! And then Bigfoot's going to be like, no, this must happen, and then... He's going to pick the Loch Ness Monster up by the neck and smack Loch Ness Satan Bigfoot in the mouth. I think that'd be a sight to see. Let's see Area 51 try to contain that battle. Could you imagine Bigfoot on like a giant horse with a sword? That would be the second scariest thing I've ever seen. The first scariest was seeing the Loch Ness Monster up close and personal, giving mermaid jobs. What? Anyways, have you seen an alien? Comment, subscribe, like, because we're not with aliens. We didn't touch you. We didn't probe you. Aliens did. Aliens. 
I've always wanted to meet an alien. I wanted to talk to an alien. I kind of figure out, like, maybe he's the Jesus we look up to. And maybe, what if religion is alien textbook history? Like, aliens learn that in history class. Like, we learn about, like, President Peter Rosenthal or some shit. And they learn about, like, President, like, Glenclor Clack of the Nebulon system. And then they're like, yeah, remember that time we enslaved an entire human race by saying we're God? I do. And it was like, that was a textbook thing. So it's like, maybe they just go around and play like a game. It's like, who can be the messiah of the most planets? And I think Glicknor Glack is winning. <laughs> he, he's, he's, got a pretty, he's got a pretty stable basis. And then I guess another one that looked like a fucking cat from Egypt came down. And he was like, look guys, this isn't how you do shit. And then he made a giant triangle. So I guess he was passing geometry. Which is something I can relate to. <laughs> I think that'd be kind of interesting to see how the pyramids are made. It's like, who came up with that bright idea? It's like, you know what? Caskets just aren't good enough. I need a giant three-dimensional prism to encase my body in and put so many booby traps in it that if I die, ain't shit gonna happen to me. That guy must have been a thug. A hardcore, like, drug-dealing thug. Like, he imported sand from other places and let the other people snort it. You know what's really weird? To think about, like, people in Asia have iPhones. I think that's the weirdest thing ever. Like, squinty eyes shouldn't have our technology. <laughs> well, that was racist, wasn't it? That's racist! God. Anyway, if you've seen Bigfoot, please contact the local authorities, and then please contact us, because I think that'll, I think that'll really show us some dedication, and that'll show the viewers that we're not all assholes in the world. I think that'll be a pretty good, uh, pretty good start to the channel. Yeah, we're Mythbusters, basically. We just do things, and we hope for the best. Look at that Jedi rocket. <laughs> That's what I call my penis. <laughs> Jedi rocket. Anyway, that was the last kill. Enjoy this kill cam by me, and well, I'll be signing off. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a pleasant Christian day. Goodbye.